What a stunning decision from President Trump. Firing FBI Director James Comey, only the second time in American history a president has taken that step. We are covering all the fallout this morning from the White House to the Capitol to the FBI. The decision took Comey by surprise. He found out from TV on a recruiting trip to Los Angeles. He thought it was a joke. Right. At first, take a look at his plane. It was landing in D.C. just hours ago. This was after he got the news. Of course, we are covering every possible angle of this story. Attorney General Jeff Sessions is expected to soon name an interim FBI director to replace James Comey, and the president prepared to nominate a permanent replacement. The chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee is threatening to subpoena Trump campaign aides if they continue ignoring deadlines to turn over records of meetings with Russian officials prior to the election. And Russian's foreign minister is in Washington meeting with both President Trump and Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. This expected uh, to discuss Syria and Ukraine. Yeah, some surprising timing yeah. right there. This is the highest ranking official, Russian official, the president has met with. Uh, it's the only event listed on the president's schedule today, but all day long, official Washington will be consumed by that decision to fire James Comey. Our chief White House correspondent, John Carl, starts us off with all the latest. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. This firing has stunned Washington, and it came without any warning whatsoever. Comey first heard the news on TV while he was speaking to FBI agents in Los Angeles. While Comey was in that meeting, a letter from the president was hand delivered to FBI headquarters in Washington. That letter from the president was read to Comey over the phone. You are hereby terminated and removed from office effective immediately. The president wrote, you are not able to effectively lead the bureau. The president also addressed the FBI investigation into Russian meddling in the election. I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions that I am not under investigation. The official reasonings for the firing were outlined in a letter from the deputy attorney general, who wrote that Comey grossly mishandled the Hillary Clinton email investigation, saying, among other things, that this July 2016 press conference exonerating Clinton should never have happened. No charges are appropriate in this case. The deputy attorney general says Comey was wrong to usurp the attorney general's authority by announcing that there would be no charges and then going on to criticize Mrs. Clinton anyway. It's a textbook example of what federal prosecutors and agents are taught not to do, he wrote. Hours before news of the firing broke, a hint from the White House press secretary, Sean Spicer. Does the president still have confidence, full confidence in FBI Director James Comey? I have no reason to believe. I haven't asked him, so I, I don't, I have not asked the president since the last time we spoke about this. And the last time you spoke about it, you said he did have confidence, but you're not sure to say that again now? Well, I, I don't, in light of what you're telling me, I don't want to start speaking on behalf of the president without speaking to him first. On Capitol Hill, Democrats are crying foul. They fired Sally Yates. They fired Preet Bharara. And now they fired Director Comey, the very man leading the investigation. This does not seem to be a coincidence. The top Democrat in the Senate says Trump's move could be an attempt to undermine the investigation into Russia's involvement in the election. This is part of a deeply troubling pattern from the Trump administration. And Senator Richard Burr, the Republican in charge of the Senate investigation into Russia's meddling in the election, issued a statement last night saying, quote, I am troubled by the timing and reasoning of Director Comey's termination. His dismissal further confuses an already difficult investigation by the committee. And Senator Burr is not the only Republican expressing concerns this morning. John McCain says he is disappointed by the firing. Senator Ben Sass issued a statement saying the timing of this firing is very troubling. And Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona, Republican, said, I've spent the last several hours trying to find an acceptable rationale for the timing of Comey's firing. I just can't do it. George. John, we have not heard from the Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell and the Democratic leader in the Senate, Chuck Schumer, has asked all Democrats to go to the Senate this morning to go en masse to confront Senator McConnell and hear what he has to say. Uh, it sure, sure, sure does, and they're going to be calling for a special prosecutor in this case. The president is responding to Senator Schumer, issuing a tweet late last night saying, Crying Chuck Schumer stated recently, I do not have confidence in him, James Comey, any longer, then acts so indignant. P hashtag drain the swamp. Yeah, Democrats have had a lot of complaints about Comey as well. Meantime, that uh, item on the president's schedule today meeting with the Russian foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov.
Yeah, this is something else. Uh, you know, it's not unusual for the Russian foreign minister when he's in Washington meeting with the Secretary of State to also come by for a meeting with the president. That's happened under many, many presidents. But, George, it is striking that that is the only thing on President Trump's public schedule today, a meeting with the Russian foreign minister. Yeah, that is the only he, thing on the public schedule. He's had a light public schedule for several days. John Carl, thanks very much.